And I will give over the microphone. Let's have a round of applause for Pat. So I rise today to toast Kevin and Nikki on this wonderful evening. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Kevin's brother. On St. Patty's Day, on my third birthday, I was gifted with two gifts. One was a little Humpty Dumpty hand puppet that we called Mr. Puppet. We grew up with Mr. Puppet. <laughs> And the other one was my baby brother, Kevin. <laughs> of course, the three-year-old me thought that Mr. Puppet was the better gift. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that both of them still exist. <laughs> Kevin and I have many things in common. We love taking pictures. We enjoy the same music. And he followed me to California. <laughs> But Kevin has always lived alone. So when he called me a while back and said he was getting married, we were just very surprised. And I was even more honored when he asked me to be his best man. But our big question was, who was this person that captured Kevin's heart? <laughs> So we had to meet them, and we invited them over to Christmas. And it was, our, it was our family Christmas party. And Kevin and Nikki showed up to a house of strangers. They had no idea who they were. And Nikki fit right in. She was enjoying the kids and having a good time. And we were happy to see them together and thought, what a beautiful person Nikki is. So, I ask everyone to rise and raise your glass in a toast to the future happiness of Kevin and Nikki. To Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Nolte, may their life together bring them much happiness and joy. And now I'd like to introduce Moses. He's got long hair. Everyone, round of applause for Moses. Hello? Oh, that's what my voice sounds like. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, I have two regrets. One is that my sister isn't here today. And the second is that my father isn't here today. I like to think I represent my father in a certain regard because a father raises their child in hopes that they become the person that they wish they were. Not because they want them to live vicariously, but because they, uh, they want to gift their children with the things they never had. And I'm not talking about like toys or anything, like a truck. But I mean more in a sense that you gift them with strength, with wisdom, with patience, the things you never had. And I love both my parents just as much. My mother, she's a... Uh, She's in every one of my actions, the way I smile, the way I look in the mirror, the way I experience emotions, the way I walk, the way I laugh. And I don't want to victimize myself, but the only thing I've ever really wanted was, you know, a strong, tight-knit family. And with this, my mother's happiness entering this covenant relationships of source is one step closer to that. And I love Kevin, even though I've had, like, I think four conversations with him. I think one of them was more than six sentences. <laughs> but, um, and by the way, my dad's not dead. I didn't want to make it seem like that, like he couldn't be with us today. <laughs> He's alive. But um, I just love and appreciate all of us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Moses. Thank you.